the young people. Thanks, Dan. Thanks. Steve now in for Kristen tonight. And Steve, people yeah. just love this cooler weather day. Everywhere you went, people said, I think it's going to rain. It sprinkled a little bit. But everyone liked yeah. this. We should have asked the boss to put the news set outside today. That would have been nice. It might have yeah. got a little rain on it, though. Really? Is it raining right now? Okay. No, actually, it's not. But let's take a look okay. outside. Look at this was from our uh, Oregon Beach vacations camera in Lincoln City. Put together a time lapse. Kind of a gray afternoon. Continues to be gray. Scattered showers moving across the lens. And there, right at the very end, you see a little bit of clearing. And that's sort of a sign of things to come on your Saturday. It's going to get a lot nicer out there on Saturday. But PDX right now, 68 degrees with just a light northwest wind, dew point 62, and that uh, relative humidity 81%. So it feels very sticky out there after a high of 74. Now, I talked about this earlier. This is our drought monitor as of today. We've now added in areas along the coast and the coast of Washington, up and down the Cascades of Washington, and all of eastern Oregon now in severe and even extreme drought conditions. So the rain we saw today, not going to make any dent in the fire danger. So please be careful out there as we continue through the summer. Take a look at that satellite and radar loop. Just a few spotty showers east of Salem. They're moving off into the Cascades. Seattle, they had a good lightning storm there this afternoon. That's the second time this week they've seen uh, activity like that. We'll continue to see this die down throughout the evening tonight, and it's set stage for a great weekend coming up. So here's a cloud and rain forecast overnight tonight. Just a few scattered showers on the west side. They clear out overnight, and then as we move into your Saturday morning, we'll stop it at 1130. Just a few scattered clouds around northwest Oregon. Then we clear it out Saturday into Sunday. Just a few brief morning clouds. All day Sunday looking very nice up and down the I-5 corridor. And if you're going out tonight, it's going to remain nice. 67 degrees your 7 o'clock hour. Just a few scattered showers. And then we'll just cool it down a little bit. And then 11 o'clock right back here on Coin 6 News. 63 degrees under just cloudy skies. Let's take a look at that coastal forecast. If you're heading out there this weekend, a nice weekend. Gradual clearing on Saturday. Temperatures around 70. And we'll go a little warmer than that on Sunday. Gorge forecast. Sunny near 80 on Saturday. Very sunny and warm Sunday, temperatures near 85. And then on your uh, Cascades, uh, Saturday about 75, 76. Sunday will bump it up to 73 under sunny skies. Eastern and Central Oregon, temperatures right around 80 on Saturday, mostly sunny skies and even warmer on your Sunday with continued sunshine. Coastal forecast for your Saturday morning clouds, afternoon sun, warmer, temperatures right around 70 for daytime highs. In the valley, morning clouds, p.m. sun, warmer, temperatures right around 80. Eastern and Central Oregon, mostly sunny, just a scattered shower in the morning. Madras, you'll top out at 83. In the Gorge and the Cascades, carbon copy forecast there. Morning clouds, afternoon sunshine, temperatures mostly around 80 degrees. And there's that seven day forecast. Saturday near 80 degrees with AM clouds and PM sun. Then we'll warm it up to the mid 80s on Sunday under mostly sunny skies. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way through the end of the week, Jeff, we'll keep it right in the lower to mid 80s and oh, no rain. Okay, let me put you on the spot. You right. know whether you've been around here a while. Do you think we have seen our last 90 degree day? Oh, no, I don't think so, really? especially under an El Nino winter, yeah. or excuse me, El Nino summer. Yeah. We can see 90 up to as late as October 1st. That's the record. No so, kidding. Oh, yeah. And we've already tied the record from 2009. That's 24 days. Yeah. I think we'll end up somewhere maybe 26, 27, 28 days when it's all said and done. Man, it was a hot summer, huh? Yeah, maybe some more to come, but not in the next seven days. Okay, thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm.